And it was quite a few months after joining the temple that I actually saw Prabhupada. And my first impression, as I wrote in that book, was rather mundane. I was surprised that Prabhupada was so short. Many people had that feeling because when you when you hear Prabhupada speak, then you it's not really a very rational conclusion, but you tend to because he speaks so strongly, you think he must he must be very physically big because usually in this world people with big bodies they're bold and people with with smaller bodies, they're not. But Prabhupada is actually very short. I, I think uh, I think they said five foot three, which is, I just have that in my diary here. Yeah? Not use Peter and just uh, what's the what's the uh, well about just be like that after me. So I was surprised at that. Especially Prabhupada was coming, when I first saw him, he was coming down the stairs. Actually, we all went to the airport, and there was some mix-up, and we missed Prabhupada. We were all waiting, and then we were doing Kirtan, and then we were told Prabhupada already came and left. Somehow he came in another, we went to the wrong terminal. If you've been to Heathrow Airport, it's like a huge city in itself. So, Prabhupada already gone, and then we went back to the Nana. And uh, then, then eventually Prabhupada came down. Maybe it was even the next day. I think it was the, yeah, it was the next day. I so we got, I didn't even get to see Prabhupada that day because so I saw Prabhupada coming down the stairs, and on one side was Brahmananda. If you've ever seen him, huge, both both vertically and horizontally. <laughs> yeah. So huge. And then Hari Kesh was also thin but very tall. And Papa standing next to him, he looked like half their size. <laughs> but uh, very strong presence. And like uh, when Papa was glowing, Many times devotees, they explain that, that you could, it's practically physically, it was like the, the, everything would become lighter when Prabhupada came. Devotees, they're very much in mood of awe and reverence at that time. And they could, so many devotees came from so many countries, and then everyone bowed down, but I, I actually delayed bowing down because I wanted to see Prabhupada more, it's the first time. So when Prabhupada, when, when I bowed down, we went in the temple room and the kirtan was gone. Well, actually, the kirtan stopped. No one stopped it, but it was just that the devotees were so much awestruck by seeing Prabhupada. And they all bowed down. And it's, it's a very big temple room. It's, it's considerably bigger than this. It's completely packed full of devotees. That was the first time I saw Prabhupada. I saw Prabhupada a few times. I mostly seen him. I, was only, I only spoke to Prabhupada once, actually, when he gave me the Gayatri Mantra. Otherwise, I saw him. Probably he was giving lectures. Once I went on a morning walk. Not much personal association. A few lectures I heard. Maybe... I can try. I don't have any copies of that. My memories book. I, there's quite a bit, actually. If you think, like the lectures I heard, and I, guess. I, don't, I don't have any copies here. Sorry. It's nice. Whenever any proper disciples come, you should get out of them, surround them, don't let them go until they promise to write. All their memories of Prabhupada. Lock them in the room. <laughs> or maybe you could get them to speak. 
and then you can transcribe it. I just wrote my memories at proper because I thought, well, I have some memories and it's very valuable. People, they want to know. There are many devotees who have much more association with Prabhupada than I do. So, try and get them to speak their mind. It's very, very valuable. That covers many chapters of the Bhagavatam. Did you read that? Please read. Hmm. We have the book also, Teachings of Lord Krishna. Where did you hear that Lord Kapila is an incarnation of Shiva? Well, uh, Kapila, you see, there may be many Kapilas. Kapila simply means brown color. So there may be many. That's just your imagination. There's nowhere is it said that Devahuti Putra Kapila is an incarnation of Lord Shiva. Yeah, we should go. How do you